Mm. Where am I today? It's crazy shit. Put my glove on. Ah, you're gonna love this. Where am I? Ooh. In the Time Warner building. It's police. Between the revolving door. Ah. Ha <laughs> ha. Mark Scott reporting from Columbus Circle in New York City. Pow. <clears throat> what am I doing up here? <laughs> Google it. Find out. How do I sound? How do I look? <clears throat> so, a couple of things going on in the news today. <sighs> Saturday in New York. And uh, you can see behind me, right? That's Trump Tower over there. Wow. Trump's living large. He's not popular today. Why? Because it's a, it's a radical woman's march. <laughs> or is it? We're going to find out. We're going to talk to some people later on today. But uh, you can see it's Columbus Circle. And uh, it's all blocked off right now. There's a, a million women in the park ready to march. Uh, there's, a, there's a statue over there I wanted to talk about. See, remember, Chris, I always, uh, I've mentioned the um, Christopher Columbus statue. Is it over there? Yeah, there it is. There's Christopher. Oh, there he is. <laughs> anyway, Christopher Columbus statue, right? That's the one that the, the radical left wanted to take down because Christopher Columbus was a racist. <laughs> Remember? Remember that shit? So there's Chris over there. You can see him over there. He's, he's hanging. T he's, where is he? I'm sorry. Everything's backwards. He's hanging tough. There he is. Ah. Right in the middle of the park, Christopher Columbus. So anyway, yellow vests. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about yellow vests. Act 10. And talk a little bit about uh, BuzzFeed getting busted. Fake news. Wow. BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed joins the ranks of fake news. So today's Act 10 of the Yellow Vests in France. It seems like a steady-as-you-go kind of day. All right, let me try to cross over without getting run over by cops. <laughs> These cops, they don't even stop at the crosswalk. They just, just run you over. Oh, look, man, it's the lady with the pink pussy hats. Look at that guy. He's selling, oh shit, the pink pussy hat salesman. Damn, we gotta get some fucking pink pussy hat. I'm gonna get in trouble today, I think. I'm gonna try to be polite, and uh, it's, I'll, it'll be on a separate video, though. Ugh, you know what I'm saying? But uh, so, so, so far uneventful uh, yellow vest. I was watching the, um, I was watching the RT feed, and it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem as violent, uh, as, as radical, but steady as you go, right? Because it's not about that radical smashing head shit, right? Right? Eventually, they're, they're out in the street. They're talking. The weather's going to get warm soon. And it'll be Act 25. And Macron, I, it looks like Macron's going to have to go, man. The people are not giving in. They're not, they're not yielding. Wow. French people holding their ground to to exterminate the globalists. Right? I should put the vests on in Venezuela and get the Americans out. <laughs> okay. Right? Look, the, the Americans got their hand in their pocket. Some all kinds of activity, kind of freaky people. Check them out. Woo! Baby, baby, baby. Yeah. Different ways of getting in. Some, some pink pussy hats everywhere. <laughs> I'll try to find out what, what it's all about. I don't know. So, so that's it on Yellow Vest right now. It, it seems Fr the French are holding their ground, doing what they have to do, shutting down, shutting down the commercial, the, sh the commercial walkways on Saturday. The only problem with that is that people are just not going to shop on Saturday. They'll shop on Sunday, and it'll be business as usual. You got to be careful. If, the acclamation, you know, people acclimating to the, uh, to the uh, protests. Right? Just work around it. So they'll up their game. They're out in the streets, a million people. 
There's maybe, you know, they underestimated maybe 100,000, 200,000 people out in the street, a million people talking about it. They'll get it done. Macron will have to ultimately, in my view, step down. He's going to get out of the way, right? But what do they get? They need the plan. What do, what do you get when you get, oh, I, be careful what you wish for. You get rid of Macron, what do you get? Right? So BuzzFeed, let's talk about the other one. BuzzFeed. Uh, has gotten busted for lying. <laughs> is that how rare is that? Is that unusual that that that, that uh, you know a a semi corporate media establishment like BuzzFeed gets busted making up a fake story about Trump? It's not that unusual, but it is what is unusual about the story. So I'll, I'll tell you what the story is. If you haven't already heard five times already, is that. BuzzFeed put out an article and said that Trump told his lawyer, Michael Cohen, to lie uh, uh, to Congress. That's the story that BuzzFeed said. They never released any. Again, it's always, it's always un, unnamed sources, secret sources. A source told us. But they never give a name. So nobody knows who told BuzzFeed. And BuzzFeed will stand on their you know, bullshit, old school integrity. We don't give up our sources. Yeah, because you don't have any sources. You made up the story, right? So what happened was BuzzFeed said that they had a source that told them Trump told his lawyer, Michael Cohen, to lie to Congress about involvement in Russia, some kind of Russia stupid, stupid Russia nonsense gate, right? To keep the hope alive, right? Now, the, the twist of the story is that Mueller the special prosecutor, right, assigned to dealing with Russia, said, came out and said, made a statement that we don't know what he's talking about. There's no, it's, it's an inaccurate story. So BuzzFeed got blown up, right? And Mueller, in an interesting, in an interesting twist, Mueller has now defended Trump publicly, right? Or a part of the Russian narrative publicly by by discrediting a a publisher who is now in the category of fake news who's gonna who's gonna trust BuzzFeed anymore right so it's an interesting story right so so again the woman's march right is uh, I don't know what to expect, really. I just saw it, and there's actually two marches, if you can imagine this shit, right? There's there's a march up here for women, the 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 one that's been going three years in a row, and then there's another one that broke off downtown. That's Lincoln Center, by the way. If you've never been, that's the uh, New York State Theater. That is. Uh, that's um, which I forget which which theater. There's a bunch of them. The, the Met Opera is behind there. Juilliard. The, that's Juilliard over there. Alice Tully Hall. That's um, Juilliard Music School. Right. And Central Park is off to the right. right? So uh, I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> oh, so yeah, there's two women's marches, right? This is funny, right? I, I couldn't, I had to pick which one I was gonna go to, right? There's one downtown in Foley Square. That's where all the courts are. I've been down there before, right? Thomas Paine Park. And that one is for women of color. <laughs> they have their, their own party, a parade or whatever it is, a rally. Right? We gotta find out what this is all about, right? So this is for women and that down there is for women of color. I'm not making it up, man. Look it up. Look up New York City Women's March and you'll see two locations. One for women of color. Or highlighting women, women of color. I don't see many women women's of color up here. I should be looking for that, right? I think that might be the story. Why are there two parades? Why is there two parades? I thought there's just one woman. Let me cross over here. So, um, it's interesting. It'll be an interesting day. I'll put this, uh, I'll be back in a little while. It's early in the morning in New York. And the, uh,
festivities haven't ha haven't started yet uh, for the parade. So yellow vests, there's no love lost there. It's good. They're not. There's a lot of less heads getting cracked. We like that, right? A lot of less heads getting cracked, and um, you know, and uh, Trump is looking good today, right? Trump Trump looks good today because. He, he busted some fake news, man. Right? He's been saying fake news all along, and here you go. They, they, BuzzFeed confirms that they're, they're just reaching for more, trying to keep that Russiagate, stupid Russiagate uh, uh, alive, you know? It's crazy, right? Marcus Conti reporting.